I have been called out by the little lady saying that I have no muscle, okay? So she just said that she was going to outdo me in push-ups. So uh, we're gonna have a push-up contest. And so this is a 440 that was... Um, Punched out to 500 cubic inches. No so you, you went long tubes, no cat. No cat. Cat back exhaust? No, stock. Stock exhaust. Stock, stock exhaust. Stock exhaust. Stock so exhaust. just an intake, long tubes. Tune? What tune? No tune? No tune. Wow. Is going on guys so we are going to be talking about headers and the reason why is because I get a lot of questions about it and I try and answer as many as I possibly can um, so before I actually you know get going with answering some of the questions that are uh, header related I just want to say that in order for you to maximize uh, any new part on your car you are going to want to update your tune you're going to want to take advantage of that new piece that you just put into the car uh, no matter how little it is especially headers you're going to want to adjust the tune that being said uh, one of the most common questions that i get asked is do you need a tune update if you get uh headers now i can say first-hand experience with the shorty headers i did not need a tune okay um you know obviously the performance wasn't much different without the tune but but i did drive around without any check engine lights nothing no problem uh without a tune adjustment yes you i likely did pick up some horsepower and torque uh without the tune but very minuscule it's it wouldn't be worth the amount of money that you spent uh, if you don't tune it. Uh, the same could be said for long tube headers. If you go with long tube headers with either no cats or high flow cats, uh, your car will operate. You will likely pick up horsepower. Um, but you do run the risk of having some check engine lights. This, I do not have firsthand experience. When I had long tube headers, I did gain some horsepower over the shorties without a tune adjustment. I believe it was like around 10 wheel horsepower I gained without having touching the tune. Uh, now I don't have any experience with locked uh, PCM and putting headers on, but there was a 392 scat pack on the dyno today and he has a locked PCM, no tune. Uh, and he has long tube headers on there. Now, I think that once he tunes his, his 392 scat, uh, he'll, he'll walk away with even better dyno results than what he walked away with. But as you clearly see on the dyno, uh, that is a scat pack, no tune, long tube headers. So, uh, you know, I hope this answers some of the questions out there. And, uh, you know, if you guys you know have any additional questions or if you're very knowledgeable about the situation definitely in the comments below you know feel free to ask questions and answer questions so uh there you go no so cat. you you went long tubes no cat no cat cat okay. back exhaust no stock stock exhaust stock exhaust so just an intake long tubes tune what tune no tune? Wow.
How does it? How does it do it? It's real well. What does it put? What does it push over four hundred? Just over four hundred. That's correct. About four hundred thirty. Four hundred thirty. Four hundred thirty. Four twenty. Four forty eight torque. Wow, that's pretty good. It's strong, it's real strong. And so this is a 440 that was um, punched out to 500 cubic inches, 575 horse, 575 pounds of torque. I haven't dynoed it here yet, so still working on it. So it can move. Yeah. 354 Dana, nine and three quarter inch. Column automatic on the second arm. Car came from California. I bought it in 82. Wow. I'm on a lot of fun. Straight from the car, white sill moldings, uh, light proof package. It's a factory AC car, but I don't know if we're going to put the AC back in. Yeah. Is this a scat? Uh, not an original scat, I don't think. I never looked it up. I just got the plates. And... But a girl on it, so that's probably why it's a column automatic. That's rare too on our Oh, day. it's a column. It's a column automatic. That's rare also. Not the yeah. most desirable, of course. I love the front of these. I love Do the, the, does I like it... the 69. I like the nose. Yeah. 69 like that. Yeah, I like the split grill. That's I what I like. like 68s uh, where they don't have the split, but yeah. I like the 9 better. 70s are nice too. Yeah. Do you mind if I look inside? Sure, bro. I think I'm going to go No, I could get it to fire. I could install it on me. I could get it. I got to restart a little bit. There's a choking fire on there. It's a fuel oh fire. Carburetor. I'm not sure. This is sick. This is an unbelievable car. Yeah, I'm second on. You know what's the coolest part about having a car like this? You could actually see all the components. Like oh, you yeah. see the headers. Yeah. You know, like in my car, you lift it up. You're like, everything oh, is so. 66. I I change. I used to change the plugs myself. Can't do that. Yeah, there's so much room to like. Tough to change these plugs with these headers, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna probably get with the ceramic coat and you know, so there's I don't have the surface rust. Right. But right. I'm gonna have them probably do that next year. Yeah. I need a newer vehicle and I've been working on my house too, so I've I put over twenty five thousand into this the last couple of years wow. and I'm like, I need to take a little break. Okay. So you gotta count. Right? Mm hmm And the first one to give up uh loses. Okay. Here we go. You ready? Mm -hmm. Up. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> 12, all the way down, 13, 14, oh. <laughs> where are you going, 15, come on, 
15. Hold on. All the way down. <laughs> 16. <laughs> I got <All> right. 19. <laughs> what did I get? 16? Yeah. Good job. All right. You wear the pants in the house. <laughs>